Happy Halloween. All right, let's turn things over now to Peyton, who also has stars on. Yeah, I do. Interestingly enough. I, I didn't dress up as anything. I just felt I'd go as myself, so. And it's mm -hmm. super cute. Thank you. Well, we have to get a very important forecast out. Yes. Trick or treating yes. is very important to folks across Northeast Ohio and obviously everywhere. I mean, even here, we have a table full of candy and I've had a, just a little too much. So if I'm rattling to you today, <laughs> it's because I've had too much sugar. Live Doppler radar for you though, just showing a few spotty showers. This loop of the past couple of hours, nothing too crazy. And we told you it would be this way. Some of you would see some activity and some of you wouldn't. So there are lucky trick or treaters out there than maybe others, but it's not going to last for forever if you do find yourself under one of those showers. Temperatures though are very giving for this time of the year. We are in the mid 60s, the upper 60s in a few spots. It's 67 degrees in Dover at the moment. Perspective sake or average high temperature this time of the year is in the upper 50s. So we are trending about five to 10 degrees above that mark. There's an area of low pressure that has ushered in some of those warmer conditions to the area and kind of given us that lull period from time to time too. This will all start to catch on up so that rain chance is not going to last forever either. When it comes to trick or treating tonight, I'm going mostly cloudy for you as you head from about 5 to 7 p.m. Because I know most of the time frames here for trick or treating is between 6 and 8 p.m. We do have a few spotty shower chances. So if you're headed out, maybe with the kiddos, the grandkids, pack the umbrella for yourself or put it in that pillowcase they're carrying around to collect candy. I know you have a pillowcase at home. Grab it. I did that myself when I was growing up. Very easy candy storage container there as you walk down the street. In your National Design Run Hour by Hour forecast, we keep some of those spotty showers with us for the next couple of hours. I wouldn't be too shocked if some of these linger into tomorrow morning as well. The cloud cover will stay with us as well. That'll start to tug away by the middle of the day. And that means we start to round out your Tuesday in the first day of November with a little extra sunshine in the mix too. So tomorrow on the hour in your National Design Run forecast, our high temperature going to be in the low 60s almost where we should be this time of the year, but even a few degrees above that. And if you like some extra warmth, it's in your Union Home Mortgage Extended Forecast. We get closer to 70 by Thursday in the 70s for Friday and Saturday, close to 70 again for Sunday and Monday. So this first week of November looks to trend above normal for this time of the year, Betsy. Yes, it does. Very exciting for sure. I can't believe it's already time to roll those clocks back. I can't either. Here we are. Extra hours All sleep. All right, beauty sleep. <laughs> this is true. All right, Peyton, thank you.